Hi, I'm Jared, otherwise known as LTA uh, from Love Therapy Animals. My older subscribers, you probably notice a drastic change in my channel here. My new subscribers, uh, you probably don't notice much difference. Uh, I've completely rebranded to focus on uh, mental health, therapy, animals, uh, everything that I've used in my journey uh, for mental health recovery and improvement. Um, my goal with this channel is to bring what I've learned uh, to a larger audience. I'm a military member. Uh, I've suffered depression, anxiety, uh, post-traumatic stress, alcoholism, etc. I am not a doctor. Everything I say here is not meant to be used as a diagnosis. If you think that you've got something going on, go see your doctor, uh, go see your psychiatrist. Uh, everything here is informational, is just my story. Comment, subscribe, uh, like the videos, share the videos with those that you think might get some use out of it. Let me know in the comments what you'd like to see or hear on my channel. I hope to branch out, get guests, collaborate with some other folks that have been through similar journeys and I want to grow this community. Hey, what's a one player drinking game? Alcoholism. Do you have an alcohol use disorder? Do I have an alcohol use disorder? Well, the DSM-5 or the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual uh, version 5 of mental disorders uh, lists 11 criteria. I'll go over them real quickly. First one, alcohol is often taken in larger amounts or over a longer period than intended. The second one, there is a persistent desire or un unsuccessful efforts to cut down or control your alcohol use. The third one, a great deal of time is spent uh, in obtaining alcohol, using alcohol, and recovering alcohol. Fourth one, craving or strong desire or urge to use alcohol. The fifth one, recurrent alcohol use that results in a failure to fulfill a major role at home, work, or school. The sixth item, continued alcohol use despite having persistent recurrent social or interpersonal problems caused or exacerbated by the effects of alcohol. Seventh item, important social, occupational, or recreational activities are given up in order to use alcohol. The eighth item, recurrent alcohol use in situations in which it is physically hazardous. Nine, uh, alcohol use is continued despite knowledge of having a persistent or recurrent physical or psychological problems that is likely to be exacerbated by the use of alcohol. Tenth one, tolerance uh, as defined by either needing a markedly increased amount of alcohol or markedly diminished effect with continued use of the same amount of alcohol. The eleventh item, withdrawal, is manifested by characteristic withdrawal symptoms for alcohol or alcohol is taken to relieve or avoid alcohol withdrawal symptoms. If you meet two or more of those criteria, you could be diagnosed with an alcohol use disorder. Two to three items um, would be mild alcohol use disorder. Uh, four to five items would be uh, moderate alcohol use disorder, and then six or more criteria would be severe alcohol use disorder. Unsurprisingly, um, as I knew going into this, I was rated as severe. Uh, why did I make this decision? How do I feel? Uh, I've been drinking approximately three quarters of a fifth of alcohol, typically whiskey, anything hard. Every time I drank for the last few years, got to the point where I become deceptive and started hiding my alcohol use, lying about it. Started a session with a three or four drink cocktail to, to get jump started and then uh, quickly finished the rest of my drinks after that. Obviously not healthy. Hasn't been healthy for my relationship. Hasn't been healthy, healthy for myself. Uh, I decided to finally go ahead and seek some help on it. What led me here and what's next? Uh, what led me to the decision? I've known for a while that my alcohol use has been excessive and uh, personally self-destructive. I finally admitted to myself that I needed to uh, get some help to uh, get over this on my own. I struggled on my own for uh, just about seven years. Started with uh, chronic pain, uh, insomnia, self-medicating to go to sleep. Ultimately ended up with depression and anxiety, continued drinking, and uh, you know, here I am now. Fortunately for me, I've been able to go several days without drinking at, at various points in time. So I saw my treatment team this morning, told them where I was at, and uh, they're going to give me the weekend to determine if I experience any withdrawal symptoms that may require some sort of trip to the hospital or inpatient care. And for those of you that are, are quitting, you should absolutely consult with, with your medical team because the withdrawal of alcohol can actually be fatal. There's a condition called delirium tremens that if you experience symptoms for is, in a, is a medical emergency, you need to go to the emergency room. So this isn't something you should do without the advice of your doctor and without uh, receiving proper care. So today is day one sober for me. Just for reference, uh, my last drink of alcohol was on the 22nd of September, 2022. I am chronicling my journey with getting sober and getting better. I don't know the frequency of my posts yet. I think a lot of it depends on, you know, how much I feel like I have to talk about during any given period. I hope to do probably a one to three week update, not entirely sure yet. 
but uh, you'll see that posted here um, over the next coming weeks. I knew this morning that I was going to be diagnosed. Uh, my alcohol use caused a rift between me and family members. It occupied a huge amount of my time buying, using, uh, recovering from alcohol. Um, I would say recovery has become the biggest thing with my age these days. I could drink for a five hour, six hour span the night before and end up having to use the, the entire day the next day to fully recover. Uh, it's been uncomfortable. I drink three to five days a week, not on the weekends. Uh, and the reason I don't drink on the weekends is because it causes more arguments with my wife. So I just try to avoid that. Stick to the week at weekdays where she's not home and I can hide it easier, I guess is the only way to put it even though it doesn't really work that way. The more I've used, it's led to more lying, hiding, concealing my alcohol use. It's become embarrassing, um, shameful for me. Going into this, I'm a little apprehensive about, uh, you know, hey, am I gonna have withdrawal symptoms? Uh, am I gonna have cravings? Even with these reservations though, I feel a huge sense of calm. After bringing this up to my doctor this morning, I got home this afternoon and I told my wife everything. Uh, it was like a huge weight off my chest. I told her all the all the hiding, the deception I've been using. Reminded her that she's not crazy about how much I've been using, and I've just you know just been dishonest about it. And I feel like I'm at a good starting point where I can start getting better. So what is the future? Uh, I have an assessment next week, which will determine my actual treatment. Treatments could be based on. Um, do I have withdrawal symptoms or not that require inpatient care or uh, a series of drugs? I intend to push through the weekend, report the symptoms I have. If all that goes well, there's a good chance that I'll be placed in uh, some sort of outpatient program. Still possibly on medications uh, such as uh, naltrexone or uh, other similar anti-craving drug. I will have my update the channel as I move forward with my journey. If you have questions regarding treatment or, or progress or what I'm experiencing, by all means, post them in the comments. I'll add, answer every comment that I can. I'm going to close here because I, it's getting a bit late. I don't have much to say right now except I do have cravings to drink right now. Nothing a, a drink can't solve. It's just a joke by the way. I'm just kidding. I'm not going to have any alcohol. Um, I'll ignore them. I hope this isn't a constant thing though for sure. Again, this video is not to diagnose anyone. Uh, it's not meant to take the place of your doctor's opinion. But if you feel like you meet criteria, you are at a point where you want to quit, by all means, talk to your medical team. Be honest with yourself. Be honest with them. It's extremely important if you're a heavy user that you don't just discontinue alcohol use without proper care of your physician because the uh, withdrawal symptoms can actually lead to a fatal disorder. If you want to follow me on this journey, please like, comment, subscribe to get updates, get answers. Uh, if you have questions regarding Regarding my treatment progress, post them in, in the comments. If you know somebody that might need help or could use uh, advice from somebody else going through a similar struggle, by all means, share this video with them. What does a dyslexic alcoholic and a sex addict have in common? They both can't wait to get to the bra.